unless you're one of the wiggles, chances are you've got no idea what to expect when you visit a fruit salad farm. Uh, I'm guessing, Cal, that we're going to um, be able to sample and see what's grown locally in the area. Husband and wife team Sharon and Joe are at the Katina Fruit Salad Farm, and the saying opposites attract comes straight to mind. The tour kicks off in the old mud brick cottage, circa 1912. Our farm is known as a fruit salad farm because that's what locals referred to as a mixed orchard. Joe, tell me a bit of the history of the place. Well, my father started this place in 1963, and after a while I left school and joined him on the farm, and and here I am now. As we've travelled around with Rural Aid front of mind, the ability to talk one-on-one -on -one with a farming family gives you a great perspective. We, over the years, we've changed crops from apples to pears and prunes and into grapes and oranges. So how big a job's that? To pull out a whole crop uh, and put big, it... <laughs> big job, big job, because you pull out the trees and you've got to pick up all the stumps and pick, prepare all the ground and, yeah. So when someone turns up here to check the place out, yeah. what sort of an experience are they going to have? The experience being on the farm, and what we do every day on, on, on the farm. Yeah, I love it, yeah, because I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Generous to a fault, these two, with their time, their experience, and their produce. And quirky. The old truck we had to get into was uh, different. And the bus was certainly the way to go, as once again, the skies opened and down she poured. The little orange tree there is a blood orange. If you went to Sicily in the winter months and asked for an orange juice, the only orange juice you'd get would be a blood red orange juice. Then it's the movie. Yep, they even have their own theatre and enough prunes to keep everyone regular. And then the sound all the locals have been waiting for, rain on a tin roof. It actually poured with rain while we were there. Which was great for us because it gave us time to look around Joe's ultimate man shed. And then we went into the uh, house and sampled some of the amazing produce that they made, as well as some wines locally made on the farm. And importantly, we got to put some money in the till by stocking up. 